Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at the historic center of Macau, southern China. One of the world's last colonial outposts, Macau is on the World Heritage List for its fascinating blend of Chinese culture and Portuguese colonial architecture. Let's have a look around. The city of Macau is located on China's southern coastline, at the western edge of the Pearl River Delta, just across the water from Hong Kong. Although villagers and fishermen have lived in the area since at least the Qin Dynasty over 2,000 years ago, Macau's modern history began in the 16th century. Portuguese explorers and traders arrived, and in 1557, Portugal permanently leased Macau. Booming trade meant a booming economy, booming population, and a thriving culture, which is what this World Heritage Site focuses on. The most impressive building in the World Heritage Area is definitely the ruins of St. Paul's. Built in the early 17th century, St. Paul's was one of the largest Catholic buildings in Asia. Unfortunately, it was heavily damaged by a typhoon in 1835, so only the imposing south facade remains. But it's still absolutely beautiful. We just loved the Baroque styling, showing Portuguese designs of the time, but with clear Chinese influences. One notable carving depicts the Virgin Mary trampling a Chinese dragon. Surrounding the ruins of St. Paul's, are the old city walls of Macau and the Mountain Fortress, or Fortaleza do Monte. Sitting on a small hill, this fort was crucial to Macau's defences against pirates and foreign powers. In 1622, the fort successfully held off an attempted invasion by the Dutch, preserving this tiny slice of Portugal for the next several centuries. Descending the steps in front of St. Paul's and the fort, you're immersed in the old city of Macau. It's a fantastic mixture of large Baroque public squares, impressive European-style buildings, Catholic churches, and Chinese temples. In the squares and along the streets, the buildings are just so distinctly European that it's hard to believe you're in China. Some of the highlights here include the Temple of A Ma, a Chinese temple that dates back to 1488, well before the Portuguese arrived. It's believed that the name Macau is derived from the goddess Matsu, who is worshipped here. The Moorish Barracks is a very striking building, painted in bright yellow and white. Despite the name though, it wasn't built by Moors, and nor is it particularly Moorish in style. It was actually built in a Mughal style, inspired by the Muslim architecture of Northern India and Persia. There's a series of fantastically well-preserved churches dotted around the old city, including St. Lawrence's Church, St. Joseph's Seminary, St. Augustine's, and St. Dominic's. There's also the extremely impressive Holy House of Mercy, a large neoclassical building originally from the 17th century that was set up as a medical clinic, an orphanage, and widow's refuge. All up, there's a heap of great stuff to see in Macau. It's such an intriguing blend of European and Chinese culture that's just really rare to see. We loved all of the traditional Portuguese-style white tiles with blue paintings, the kind that you see all across the Iberian Peninsula. Except here, they're painted with Chinese scenes, willow trees, markets on the river, billowing clouds and towering mountains. And of course, there's the street food, Cantonese dim sum, followed by Portuguese tarts. Yum. Anyway, 
that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and as always, hit subscribe to see more from the World Heritage Journey. We'll see you next time. Thank you.